Thursday just around the corner and while many mamas might be starting the day with breakfast in bed or some nice flowers, right, which of course is, is so, so well deserved, some mamas um, in our area aren't getting any of that. Actually, they're wondering if they're going to be able to buy diapers for their babies, right? That's the harsh reality that we do not want to shy away from here on TVL. So this morning, Stephanie Mills is joining us with a powerful way we can help change that narrative. Stephanie, we are talking about a campaign that has been going on uh, for a few years now. We're yeah. so excited. We got all our gear. I got my purple bracelet We're on, which we'll with chat purple. about in a second. <laughs> so excited to talk this campaign. But before we do, um, Help, help paint a picture for us maybe. What, what are the harsh realities sure. that again some mamas here in our area are facing every Mother's Day? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we're working closely um, with Downtown Rescue Mission and they have a women's and children's shelter there called Owens House. And okay. at Owens House, they're able to provide uh, for the women that are coming in with their children there. Um, and they have programs they can go through to help them against domestic violence, mm. um, against drug abuse, homelessness. Um, unfortunately, the reality is um, uh, a lot of the time if they're homeless, they're running from bad situations like domestic violence, which is actually the color here for Movers for Moms with the purple. I love it's that. It's the awareness. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I know I was going to ask you about the purple coordination. I love that. Again, that you guys have all tied that in. You got some great branded merch. Super fun. Because again, this whole campaign is going down now. Tell us now what you guys are doing. I mean, you're connected. Yeah. Razors, toothpaste, chapsticks, we right? Got a How whole is this all list. happening? Yes. yes. We got a whole list the here. whole list here. Yeah. So actually, Movers for Moms, It's uh, this is my fourth year doing it. So it's, okay. it's pretty neat to be able to, to witness four years uh, doing Movers for Moms for Two Men in a Truck. Um, but the wish list uh, this year, it changes. Every okay. year it's different. Okay. So this year we do have diapers, which is, is pretty much a staple there. But we also have things like uh, super tampons and uh, so feminine products mm -hmm. uh, for the mamas. And then, of course, we have deodorant, body wash, um, baby rice or oatmeal, um, mm. which is something, you know, you think about the, the moms having to provide for their babies. And yeah. if they're running from a bad situation, they didn't have time to to grab these essential care items that they are needed to be able to provide for their kids. Yeah, oh, well, we're so grateful again for the work that you guys have uh, put in now to collect these around the area. So now that people that are interested, they want to help, where can they drop off these items and how long again is this campaign running? Of course. So um, it actually runs right now starting April 1st through May 5th. Okay. Uh, so we have until the end of or the beginning of May because then we're going to go around and collect all the donations from our collection sites and gift it to the shelter as a big Mother's Day present. Oh, sweet. So, so sweet. Um, and they can, you can find any sort of collection site at moversformoms.com where you can drop off any of these essential care items right there that you see on your screen. And uh, we're also going to have some special events that people can help volunteer for or uh, come out and donate. Um, Kroger off 72 is helping us to do our fourth fill the truck at mm. Kroger on 72 there. So we're going to awesome. be at both doors. As you go out shopping, you can pick up any of those items and drop it off to us outside of those doors there. Um, so yeah, actually you're looking at, that was a, a kickoff that we Love had it. at the shelter and then there you go. That's at Kroger, the fill the truck on April 15th. Uh, we do need volunteers that okay. day. Um, but yeah, that was such a fun event at the shelter there to be able to give all the collection sites their uh, boxes and their supplies so they can go off and collect within their own uh, clients, yeah. customers, uh, staff, whoever, to be able to get these items. I love it. Stephanie, I love too just hearing your excitement about it again because you've been a part of it for several years now. Yes. Any kind of anecdotes that uh, you would be there witnessed or heard about or again just overall reflections on just how meaningful this Mother's Day event is for mamas again here in North Alabama. Sure. Um, so four years in, uh, it's it's still pretty mind-blowing how many kids that they're having to help at the shelter with the moms. I think right yeah. now they have 15 children at the shelter. Wow. Um, and then they helped probably about, I think they said last year, about almost close to 100. Uh, and so the reality, the fact that they uh, are having children in these shelters mm -hmm. to provide for. They don't have um, what we take for granted on a daily basis, I think is just a, a it's, it's pretty sad reality, but it's neat to be able to do something yeah. to be able to combat that. Yeah, to bring absolutely. some light in that in the darkness shines there. Through for sure. Well, we, yeah. again, we thank you for what you guys have done to put that yes on the table and start this campaign. Thank you again so, so much. Um, we do want to ask you about the QR me. code really quickly. I think we've got a yeah. QR code we can flash up. How can that help people donate? Yes. So we actually made an Amazon wish list. Uh, awesome. So you can actually use this QR code, find our wish list on Amazon. It has all the items that you saw on that wish list there from the shelter, and you can purchase any of 
those items, it goes to our two men in a truck office, okay. and then we will uh, collect all those things together and then drop it off that Friday before Mother's okay. Day. So, Easy. They have so that. if you can't make it out to a physical location, scan that QR code. We'll have that on tvliving.com as well, as well thank as all you. the info as far as drop off dates and collection sites and everything of that nature. So, awesome. Stephanie, thank you again so much. We wish you all the best. Thank uh, you so much for what Peyton. you do. We're grateful. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right.